Hey now, this is Jennifer from Abundance Amplified Tarot and more. How are you guys doing? Um, doing some, been called to do some readings here. This one is on trust, which is number 47, which goes into 11. How cool is that, right? I've got the seven of cups here. I've got the chariot and I have the three of cups coming out. I also, I wanted three, it gave me four. So I'm just going to move these over. Seven of Cups, okay? Somebody's trying to make a decision here and you have seen past the illusion, okay? You are in a space where you are moving forward in a very balanced way and this is going to lead to celebrations here. For some of you, this is going to lead to some really, really awesome dynamic partnerships and celebrations here, okay? Um, you have moved past something. You have let go of something that was no longer serving you. And I feel like it, this was a painful experience for you. Um, I'm hearing that a lot of you let go of something before the harvest. Like there should have been this huge harvest that you were expecting and it just didn't turn out that way. Yeah, you guys were in a state where you were fit to be tied is what I'm hearing, okay? It puts you into some kind of stagnancy. That's over now. The stagnancy is over. You could have a young person that's helping you along in this pursuit. There could be some messages coming in. This is all based in love, okay? I feel like you guys really, really had to get over some major, major betrayal, pain, um, could have been physical pain, emotional, spiritual, all of those wrapped up into one. Because normally, even though we're having physical pain and a body part that might not be working, it can somehow be attached to our emotions, you know, maybe to our karma, to our spirituality, right? Um, when we're not dealing with things and, and not taking care of ourselves, things will manifest in the spiritual, right? That's what disease is, right? Diseases. So this is all in the past here. Wow. Okay, you've got the Magician card coming out. You know that this was a complete rebirth here. Wow, you guys have really, really, really done whatever work the universe put in front of you. You guys have done this. Whoops, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Whatever, whatever work you guys have done. Okay. You've understood this process. I feel like there were there were times where you were just like, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to quit. Like, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Um, um, you know, I hear somebody saying, I just want to go live on top of a mountain. I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to deal with things, right? It took you to the breaking point. And that was a point of self-renewal here. Okay, the universe and spirit has seen what you're doing. The sun is about to come out for you. If you are in a position right now where you're kind of still going through this rebirth process, understand that you are being guided and led here. You have all the tools that you need. The sun is going to shine for you very quickly here. Oh my gosh. Um, we have a king of staffs. You guys are already, like you might not even realize that you're in charge of a whole kingdom here. And you're doing it with love and you're doing it in passion, okay? Uh, for some of you, this could be someone coming in here, all right, um, in the form of a partnership, in the form of some kind of companionship, uh, possibly a relationship. This, if that is you, if you resonate with that, this is going to be huge here. Okay, this is this partnership is the culmination of work. Uh, I'm hearing generations. <clears throat> Excuse me, between the two of you, this is generations of work. Okay, this is how the universe is balancing out what happened to you. Okay, you guys went through some really major stuff. Notice the 10 here. All those lessons have been learned. He's back in the flow here. So this is a harvest of clarity, okay? Um, this will affect your spirituality. Obviously, you're going through a death and a renewal here. You're being warned not to be too clingy, okay? To not be so anxious, all right? Um, but I really feel like if you open yourselves up here, there's going to be some major celebrating that's going on here. Okay, so the warning is, is to understand that you've already learned the lessons 
and to self-regulate. Yep, I cannot make it up. There's that strength card. Okay, instead of that four of coins, you need to self-regulate so that you can manage what is coming in for you. Okay, as the queen here, notice the rabbit, it's about multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. Okay, and look how relaxed she looks. Okay, look how relaxed she is. So tame your inner beast. Here we go. We have that three of coins. Victory, victory, victory. And it's about you just kind of, I see the past and the future in those two staffs. And you are moving forward on your own path here. And that's why it's so powerful. Okay, no one else can do this but you. Because you are, uh, you are uniquely you. You bring in a certain kind of energy and life experience. I'm hearing trust and thrive, right? Exchange energy to create abundance, okay? And um, I've got the Hummer, Hunter coming up in reverse. And it says, track down your fears and desires, okay? It's coming up in reverse. I feel like you guys have already done this. So it's about knowing what you want, you don't have to figure out how it's coming in. The universe will do that for you. Cannot make it up. There's the Merlin card. Okay. Alchemy, justice, and balance. You don't have to know the how. Okay. You have to know your why. You have to know who you are. Right? Wow. This is an amazing reading. Okay. Okay. I trust my authentic self. I trust my authentic self. I trust divine timing. Claim it. Okay, we have the protector number 28. Surround yourself with people who lift you, accept you as you are, believe in your vision and purpose, and bring out the best in you. Number 28, which goes into a 10, which is the card of completion, the number of completion, right? The protector. Some of you, there are people watching what you're doing. Okay. Um, there are spirits assisting you, guides assisting you. I also have the priestess number six. Be still and know. Listen to your hunches and intuitions. Okay. Be ready for solutions to seemingly unsolvable problems to just appear. These are serendipity moments. Six is the number of balance here. <clears throat> excuse me you can only find balance when you're in your authentic self in that good energy all right i'm gonna ask one more question here thank you spirits like i said you don't need to know how this is coming in okay it's it's a matter of trust which is what we're doing the reading on okay see they're repeating see past the illusions okay there are message coming there are messages coming in for you very soon okay very very soon um i've got a seven of wands and a knight of wands that came up in the reverse here okay the battles are over um they want you to understand to stand in your authority here Somebody, you know more about something than somebody else. Or the way that you want to go ahead and, and do this is, um, it's unique to you. Like I said, we all hold a unique energy. We all hold um, unique gifts, uh, unique perspectives. Um, we all have gifts that are unique to us that we need to share with the world here. Okay? Uh, some of you, this is going to heal your broken heart. Okay, right. Some of you went through some really major stuff. I'm going to tell you that the people that you're dealing with have gone through some really major stuff too. Okay, right. That's why it's going to work. You're on the same frequency here. You're on the same level with these people. Okay, um, I keep getting this tower card coming out here. Somebody... It's very possible that some of you might witness some kind of a loss. Okay. Um, but I've got this Ace of Swords coming out with it. It's very possible that either you or someone around you is going to experience uh, some kind of a loss. 
okay? I don't think it's specific to you. It could be in your family. It could be uh, your soul family. There, you know, um, it could be just like what we're witnessing in the world. I mean, it's devastating. And this is going to give you clarity to step up, okay? That clarity that you're receiving here, the clarity should give you courage. You know, that sword is about having courage, right? Bravery. And that doesn't come from not being afraid. It comes from, from having, from seeing the reality and being somewhat fearful and moving forward. Note that swords are also about logic. So be discerning, right? See past the illusions. I feel like I'm talking to somebody here that's holding a lot of power. Okay, I feel like I'm talking to an earth angel here. Wow. And we've got this ace of wands as well. Okay, um, I don't want to say that this has been divinely orchestrated for you. I think, um, you know, there's a lot of players on the earth right now, right? I also have this queen of wands popping out here. Okay, so make sure that whatever comes your way, you handle with grace. You handle with kindness. Okay. You handle with reflection, meditation, uh, mindful intention. Okay? Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Please check out the description box. There's a couple books there to help you on your journey. Intro to Astrology, Intro, and the History of Tarot. Some great graphics. Talks about the history of the cards and things. Uh, there's also a free download. Um, and as always, I wanted to thank those who have donated to the channel. Um, it's really awesome to know that there's that kind of energy exchange that's involved. I really appreciate you. Hey, take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.